Hello, this is Brian Midway, and I'm the uh, national chairman of Crossland Christian Network and um, one of the pastors at a local church in Canberra called Grace, Grace Canberra in Belconnen. I'm talking uh, today about the kingdom of God because um, I think one of the major rediscoveries that's happening uh, just in these last 20 years or so, and, and maybe the, the curve is going up, what do you call that, an exponential increase uh, during these last um, few years. I think there's a greater understanding of the kingdom of God. Uh, I reckon during the last century we saw an amazing number of refreshing, renewal uh, experiences, uh, God doing sovereign things that we wouldn't have ever imagined. And not all of them were you know, squeaky clean and all wonderful and good, but they were, they were doing something to bring us to a point where we could be liberated from the cold um, uh, reasonings of human intellect to be able to live a, a Christian uh, experience and ministry out of a relationship with God with one another that wasn't reflective of, you know, didn't reflect all the things around like the businesses and the governments and so forth. I mean, the Reformation clearly was this. Um, you know, they presumed all kinds of authority structures and so forth, which were taken right out of their pagan or non, you know, non-Christian environment. We do the same thing. And I'm not saying we're any better than them or they're any worse than us. I'm just saying that this is a danger everywhere. The spirit of the city invades the church. The spirit of the culture invades the church. The spirit of the nation invades the church. The spirit of the world invades the church. So, you know, no wonder we've got a battle and the battle goes on uh, as we form uh, a, a culture that is born of a supernatural encounter with God and is sustained by a continuing relationship with God and a continuing dependence on the Holy Spirit. So, you know, this is, this is really heady stuff. And like I've been around a long time now and um, early in my Christian life, we encountered the Holy Spirit in a brand new way. Back in 1970, 1970, uh, 71, I can't remember. Anyway, somewhere there. And um, it was just fresh discovery. The Bible came alive. We saw all sorts of things and so forth. But it's amazing how a lot of those churches and the people who were involved in them, a lot of those people who tarried, you know, till late in the night in somebody's lounge room to see somebody get filled with the Holy Spirit and, you know, and see all the struggles that went on about that. And now those people are living comfortable lives, uh, you know, going to church, perhaps sitting in a seat, listening to some great sermon and then going home and doing nothing or, you know, comparatively. So that's not the kingdom. That's an experience of God. It's wonderful. It's a gift. Um, but it isn't, it isn't the kingdom. So I want to just figure out what the kingdom is. And I want to just say some things because I think there's a lot of people talking about the kingdom and I'm not in competition with them, nor am I saying, look, uh, you know, go and listen to all of them and come back and talk to me and I'll give you the real story. Uh, I'm not about to criticize them. I'm just trying to get... Uh, a grasp on this because otherwise we'll just get another bunch of words, another bunch of books, it'll be a conversation in a room that never goes anywhere, does anything, just be a little trip, you know, like a drug trip, and, oh, inject in the arm and oh, feel good, then you've got to have another one because you'll feel bad if you don't. So, you know, this is the way, this is the way it works and we kingdom people, the people of the kingdom uh, need to understand what that means. Uh, because this is something that goes to bed with you and wakes up with, wakes up with you. It is something that is relevant to every moment that you live, every encounter that you have, every de every desire that you ever have, every uh, uh, intention that you make, every decision you make. Uh, so, so the culture of heaven, and you know, Jesus spent three years doing it. So, I'm not going to wrap it up in three minutes. But all I want to say is that I think there's a journey for us to make and. We just ought to be aware of how easy it is to get off this track.